What's going on, my people? It's the one and only Margaritaville Paradise, straight out of the port of Palm Beach. Thank you for tuning in to Travel Dawn and Diva. And this is our vlog and review. So what we about to do is give you an authentic vlog and review of the one and only Margaritaville Paradise. Hello, hello. Guys, we are back at it again. We are off to a new family adventure. Say hi, guys. What up, what up? <laughs> so we are actually on our way down to West Palm and we are boarding the Margaritaville at Sea Cruise. Yes, sir. <laughs> so this is a very short, just, I think they advertise it as a three day cruise, but in my mind, it's two days. Um, we board in West Palm and then we uh, go over to Freeport, Bahamas for one day. And then the very next day, we're right back home, um, dropping us off at West Palm Beach. <laughs> so um, we were very curious about this cruise. As you guys know, we like to cruise frequently and primarily we cruise with Carnival. Um, but we have had our eye on this and although there's been lots of opinions, many of them have been on the more negative side, we like to form our own opinions, so we decided, you know what, hey, let's do it. We're gonna celebrate our daughter London's birthday and just go to a quick getaway, you know, go hang out by the beach in Bahamas for our day. Um, so anyways, this video is gonna be focused on our experience and we're really hoping that our experience will prove many of the previous opinions wrong. You know, our expectations are not one that we would have if we were going on a longer cruise with like Carnival or Norwegian or Royal Caribbean. We're very clear that, you know, you get what you pay for in a sense and um, we're not expecting, you know, uh, our socks to be blown off. But uh, we do expect to have a good time, you know, Jimmy Buffett vibes. Um, yeah, we are expecting a good time and we really just want to see what it's all about. You know, maybe this will be our go-to birthday celebration cruise um, for, for all of us. We just want to get away quickly. Last year we went to the Margaritaville Compass Hotel in Anna Maria Island. So oh, yeah. just to do a comparison, staying at the hotel versus being on the actual boat, which is both uh, subsidiaries of uh, Margaritaville, which would uh, provide a better experience because you know once you want a cruise it provided food and different types of entertainment and so on so this uh we figuring out this is probably gonna be a bigger bang for the buck you know so we're gonna definitely yeah. share our experiences with y'all and you know definitely have have our uh have a good time so. make sure you watch our videos subscribe like share um, we definitely want to keep bringing you guys on our adventures, but of course, we need your support, so make sure you, again, like, subscribe, and tell a friend to give us a subscription and follow. So we finally made it to the one and only port of Palm Beach, and um, here she is, the one Margaritaville Paradise out of the port of Palm Beach. We pulled up to the parking lot. It was quite the experience. I'm gonna let the diva elaborate a little bit more for y'all. This port is a little different. You have to uh, valet your vehicle, supposedly. Um, although I, I see some cars jetting off to the side. I don't know if they're just doing self-park, but we were told we have to valet our vehicle. So we're waiting in the valet line right now. Um, we've been sitting here for over 10 minutes. The line has not moved at all. So getting a little anxious here waiting, um, especially when you see the big boat like off to the side and you're, you know, you just want to hurry up and walk on. Um, but yeah, so parking is supposed to be $22 or $20 a day, something like that. Um, 
So I don't know. I feel like they just need to hurry up because if I'm paying for valet, I want that valet treatment. And right now it's not hidden. Hmm. But we will check in with you guys and let you know once we get through this process, let you know uh, what the parking and baggage check uh, experience is like. So stay tuned. Few moments later. All right, so we finally get to where we need to go to to get the cars unpacked with all our luggage and stuff. You know, we see the line outside, you know, tag up our bags. Everything is cool, but then this is what happened. All right, so this is, it's 101. Let's see how long it takes us to check in, all right? Yeah. One eternity later. All right, all right, all right. So it is 155. So we just now checking in on the boat. Yeah, we just checking in on the boat. And man, it took a long time. A few moments later. Oh, so let's see what time is it now. It is. 204. Still ain't make it on the boat yet. It's been like over an hour and three minutes. Hour and three minutes. It is time to eat. Oh, me so hungry. So here we go, y'all, the grand entrance. And you see the flip-flop, you know, the, looks pretty nice, you know. Hallways clean, you know, don't see nothing too crazy. But we happy we made it, you know what I'm saying? Hop in the elevator and uh, off to the room we go. And um, so far, so good. So check this out. Oh, looks like all right, let's see what this room look like. Come on in. Whoa. Okay, okay. Okay, but where ha It's not bad. Little, little, little chill vibe, you know. Well, this is the interior room. You know, it's pretty cool. Got a little bottle here. Where about you two? Anyway, all right, let's take a look. So we'll go to the bathroom. Nice size uh, sink. And then we got this little shower here. Which is just for one person and one person only. Yeah, but that's what we need. 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 Yeah, but that's Optimistic. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, room is. No, the room is fine. It's um, clean. From what I could see, the room is very the clean. Have been very nice so far. You know, they got the little wine bottle. I just you need to decide to buy one. So, I get to eat so that's only thirty bucks. So instead of getting a drink package, if you're into wine, you could just pop this bottle of wine right here, and you're good to go. And the water is four ninety-five. All right. Here it is, y'all. Pretty say big enough for a bed <laughs> for two people. You know what I mean? Small little room, but definitely big enough. You know what I mean? Got the AC blowing nice and cold. A little too cold for me. Need to find a thermostat. And here's the bathroom. Check it out. Nice size sink or counter. If you want to put in your shampoo, what have you, toilet seat. The shower is definitely small. This is a one person shower. But, you know, how much space do you need to bathe, you know? Y'all, we right, right now, we are about to go get something to eat. So we gonna just stay tuned and we're all about. So right about now, we on our way to get something to eat on the uh, deck 10. 
where they have uh, a variety of different food available. Uh, we're definitely going to take you through that area and show you exactly what they have to offer as far as food goes. So for the most part, everything is pretty cool. However, from time to time, it does smell a little weird. The name of the floors are pretty cool. You got the License to Chill deck. You got It's 5 O'Clock Somewhere deck. Love and Luck deck. You got the Stars on the Water, Middle in the Sand, Flip Flop deck, Changes in Attitude, Coral Reef deck, and the Caribbean Soul deck. Here it is, y'all. We are now on our way to the deck to see exactly what the pool and vibe is like on this rainy day out here in Palm Beach, Florida. Yeah, so it started off kind of slow, but eventually uh, the rain did stop. But however, you can see there's plenty of space for people to come out to and chill and hang out once we got past the little funky weather that was going on at the time. But yeah, man, it's um, pretty decent so far from what I can see. And this is the uh, buffet area, you know, got some nice seating going on basically in the entrance of the buffet area and then um, everybody's waiting in line patiently you grab your plate and you just go ahead and uh, you can choose different options such as pizza sandwiches um, fruits dessert you know they got bars over there all kind of different things so uh, for the kids we got them hamburgers and french fries which is basically very simple and easy when it comes to the kids uh, Mama Bell got her some. They got the dessert station, carrot cake, chocolate, imperial, um, all kind of goodies, man. Everybody. What's up, everybody? We are on the Margaritaville at sea, and we just chilling right now. We just had something to eat, so we feel a lot better. No more uh, hangry uh, <laughs> demeanor. But uh, yeah, man. So they ready to get ice cream, but we gonna see, we gonna see. We don't know if they deserve ice cream yet. Do y'all deserve ice cream? Yes, you said we'll get some because Tyson did, Tyson did it blue. Oh yeah, I said he can get ice cream because he let, let me give him a little shake up. All right, for sure. So uh, stay tuned y'all, and uh, please like and subscribe. Peace and love. Yeah, they sucking me in to getting them ice cream. You know, you do it for the kids, right? So let's take a peep at the ship now. All right, so we like on the main deck, you know, uh, basically where the pool at's pretty small. This is the pickleball uh, court. They had a little small salon in there and the arcade, man. If you know this family, you've been following this family for a while on YouTube, you know we gonna hit up the arcade because Young Tyson, is all about the arcade, you know what I mean? So we gotta keep him little, his little behind happy, and that keeps us happy. So everybody's having a good old time, and just enjoying the arcade like kids do, you know what I mean? So, yeah, they definitely was loving it. Mom Duke's playing basketball. It's always a little competition with Mama Bear and uh, Junior Bears, you know what I mean? But yeah, it's all love, man. It's all about the Marques, man. Good old school Pac-Man. And of course, the driving game has always been my favorite uh, growing up as a child and just getting a chance to get that somewhat real life experience of driving behind the wheel, all right? Oh yeah, it's the party, y'all. The silhouette party was pretty lit. They got the guy out there juggling, you know what I'm saying? The crew came out. Everybody's hitting the pool. Just waiting to have a good old time on this trip, you know what I mean? Then we went over to the kids section to uh, get an idea what that was all about and uh, turned out to be a little bit weird the way they uh, had this thing set up but the thief about to break it down for y'all once again. Hey guys, checking in. So the boat just left the port and our kids are patiently waiting to go to the kids zone area. I forget what it's called. Jolly Mon. <laughs> um, just something to think about if you guys decide to come on this ship. They do have a place where you can take your kids so they can play and hang out. Um, but they really prioritize and try to get people to pay for packages. Um, so they say it's free and then you get on here, they tell you, hey, we actually prioritize people who pay to bring their kids. Um, 
over non-paying kids. So right now, we're actually waiting until 6.45 um, to see if our kids can go into the kids' camp. Um, if within the next five minutes, a bunch of kids come in, then our kids will not be free able to, or be able to participate because those people already paid. But we are patiently waiting and hoping that there will be a spot for our two kids to join in because they are looking forward to participating in the kids' activities um, that they advertise. Like you look in there, you see them doing face painting, uh, you see them playing with toys, and my kids are like two little sad puppy dogs. I mean, yes, we could pay for them to get in, but I mean, I kind of just want to wait it out and see if, if there's a spot for them to do it for free. <laughs> we like to ball on a budget. But anyways, just something else to consider, you know, comparing it to some of the other cruise ships. They don't do that. Uh, you know, they understand, like, they cater to families and they market the fact that, you know, kids are welcomed and they have fun activities for kids and it's included. Um, Margaritaville does the same. They market that, but the reality is they want you to pay. So just something to consider, keep in mind. Um, but wish us luck because we have four more minutes to go. So wish us luck. One eternity later. It turned out after a long wait, we was able to get the kids in and they were definitely happy. We uh, took a tour back to the room and just hung out for a little bit and came back and got the kids and they were just having a good old time for sure. The next day. What's today? My birthday. Hey, how old are you? Seven. Seven? All right. You the prettiest seven-year-old on the planet. Yeah. All right. So what do you plan to do for your birthday? Just go to a pool, the beach, or what? We're going to the beach, so beach, and then I want to go to the pool. Oh, okay. Sounds good. A few minutes later. Let's see what they got on the menu over here. Alright. Oh, they have your women's brunch shower. Alright, y'all, we on our way out to Freeport. We didn't do any excursions or anything like that. But we, uh, I don't know, we're going to try to see if we can find something to get into. So, definitely keep you posted and uh, stay tuned. Alright, we out here on the island. Ship is all ported up. We're about to walk through the terminal now, terminal entrance. Let's see what's gonna do. Not that busy, I must say. This is like, compared to Nassau, it would be like a gazillion people trying to get out at one time. Although we did take our time getting out, so. Ah. So once we got to an agreement, we decided to go ahead and uh, make it happen. And they had us waiting on the side uh, while another taxi would come through and pick us up in groups, basically to take us out over to Taino Beach. And uh, you know, we just chilled out and then um, it was on to the beach we went. So it definitely took us a while to get to the beach, probably like a little over 20 minutes or so, you know what I mean? But it was cool, you know, we got to see the area, see what it's like, you know? And um, once we pulled up, we got to the cashier booth, um, paid our tickets to go into the um, beach area. And um, it was beautiful, man. This beach is beautiful, the water is crystal clear. 
uh, we was able to get chairs, we was able to uh, get food, get drinks. As you can see, they had the jet skis available if people wanted to get on uh, jet skis and uh, have fun at the beach. And um, the weather was great. It wasn't too hot and it wasn't too cold either. You know what I mean? It was just the perfect day uh, to hang out at the beach. You know what I mean? What else is there to do in the Bahamas? You know what I mean? Baby girl love hitting that swing and just enjoying the vibe, man. It is exactly what you want when you go to the beach in the Caribbean. You know what I mean? And like I was saying earlier, the Bahamas is a beautiful location to go and spend time at the beach. Right, y'all. It's a beautiful day at the beach. Can't complain. The water nice and clean. Nice and so you get used to it, you know what I mean? And it'll get warm as you go. But yeah, man, we only had Taino Beach. Um, the way it worked out, we had to pay $4 per person to get in. We had access to all of it. You know? They got paddle boats. Um, another different type of thing. They got drinks. They got food. They got everything. So uh, to take a trip down here from the port, it costs $7 per person. So. Uh, we did that, and uh, $12 per person, so, you know, a little under 100, 150, you know, all together. I don't know, man, but anyway, yeah, man, uh, we got here. Please like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, it's your boy, drop the dog, stay tuned. Hey guys, so I am checking in from Freeport, or Grand Bahama Island, as they like to call it. We're actually at Tino Beach and we're just chilling. We got here early, so we got a really good spot right here next to the water. So we can keep a close eye on the kids. And yeah, it's actually ending up being a really good day. It took a minute to get here. I'd say what, that was at least a 20 minute ride from the port. Um, but once we got here, we had to pay $12 per person to get in. And then it was like $23 or $28 for the ch two chairs and an umbrella. Um, but they have all kinds of amenities. We can go kayaking. We They have jet skis if you want to pay for it. They definitely have rest, restrooms. Um, they have the bar, food, and they'll deliver it to you right here on the beach. Um, so it's actually a really cool spot. So you could definitely pay for the higher price excursions or you can just venture off and find something here on your own like we did. Um, just a taxi ride to Tino Beach, and it's all good, as you guys can see. Mommy? Yes? I want you to go with me over I'm being summoned to go in the water, so... Hey! Hi, guys! Today is my birthday, and I'm in the Bahamas! Woo! It's gonna do it. Mambo. 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 Like the no dance. I'll bring it to you, okay? Yeah, man. We was definitely experiencing paradise out there from Taino Beach, man. It is a nice, nice day uh, to hang out. Once we got back on the ship, ended up hanging out and just spending time with the children in the pool, you know? Um, it's not a very big pool. It's basically like a square shape and it's like a huge tub, basically. But hey, it was good enough for the kids to enjoy themselves, you know what I mean? And uh, also to just cool off because, of course, it's always hot in Florida. So yeah, we continued to tour the ship a little bit more. We found the gift shop where they got plenty of Margaritaville souvenirs, t-shirt, keychain, you name it. You can find it right there in that shop. You know what I mean? Get your hat, uh, all kind of stuff. You know what I mean? That'll be catered to you as a fan of Jimmy Buffett or just the Margaritaville brand uh, alone. You know what I mean? There's definitely lots of different things that you can buy there 
They got the uh, pizza shop. You can order pizza. Uh, they also have other options for food there if you wanted to. They got the candy shop. They sell um, liquor at the liquor shop along with uh, other types of uh, beverages. You know what I mean? You can get you some Tennessee White, Cognac, you know what I mean? Very popular in the States. They got the one and only Tito's and all kind of uh, alcohol that you can get duty free. You know, you ain't got to pay no taxes on it. Uh, we took a little walk through the casino. It wasn't very big, but you know, it was big enough. You know, they had a uh, karaoke going on. They had all kind of cool stuff going on. So yeah, uh, once we got done with all of that, we hit the dining area and uh, enjoyed ourselves a pretty good meal. You know, the food wasn't bad as far as I was concerned. It was pretty decent, you know what I mean? So that was, that was definitely uh, pretty much a plus as far as that is concerned. But for the most part, we tried to make the best out of the uh, trip as much as possible, you know what I mean? So for Showtime, they had a magician out there. He was pretty entertaining, you know what I mean? Uh, after that, we went and took a look at the sunset. It was beautiful out there. We ended up finding uh, that second um, arcade, not really arcade area, but basically a little game room. Uh, for the most part, the trip was over at this point, and uh, the people gonna break it down for you one last time. As we are going through uh, customs and everything, we finally get to this massive line, and because our kids are traveling with birth certificates, and my husband and I have our passports, we had to go on the birth certificate line. Well, they actually prioritize people who paid for the upgraded package, people who have foreign passports, people who have global entry, and people who have passports over people with birth certificates. Meaning, they want to clear all of those other people off the ship first before they will even start to look at people or families with birth certificates. So you could be the first one off the ship with a birth certificate, they don't care. You're still gonna wait in line until everyone else gets off with a passport of some sort. Um, so that was extremely frustrating because hell, if they would have said that, we could have just, you know, maybe slept in an extra hour, uh, took our time eating breakfast, chilled out on the pool deck, um, instead of waiting in a hot gangway, you know, with our kids.